Welcome back on the menu this morning, a chicken bacon ranch salad that you can try right at home on this Sunday. Executive Chef Steve Toppo with Sona Nelp Resort. Avail is here. Thanks for being here as yeah, always. No thanks okay, so up. this is all on the menu at the hotel, but this is something you kind of created. Um, and you have a lot of recipes for your book as well, right? Exactly, yeah. This is uh, just a simple recipe. It's just a, something very summery, very mm -hmm. light as well. Good for, good for a nice, uh, you know, nice uh, evening meal. It's kind of simple, you know. It's just nice and light. But it's, uh, you like that for and the And it's the same with my cookbook. You know, we have quite a few single uh, recipes in there. Very simple to do. <laughs> That's easy. Uh, we love that. Easy and delicious. All right, how do exactly. we make this? Yeah, so we're going to get this fired up here. So basically what we do is take a chicken breast. Mm -hmm. And then we just cut it down into small little... Um, little cubes. Okay. And we pop it onto the, the skewer here. Three for each, right there. All and right. Free you don't need to marinate it or anything. Exactly. So now we're going to take a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Which we have right here. Just pop that into the, the bowl here. Does it matter how much? No, just a couple of teaspoons, basically. And then, uh, then this is a ranch dressing. And that's that there. And then we have a little bit of fresh rosemary, and uh, this has just been chopped very lightly. And uh, the the smell from fresh rosemary is just beautiful. It's such a such a lovely thing. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper. When you stir this up, is the goal to make it thick from the ranch dressing? Or? Exactly. Well, it's just all the all the flavors here all together. Okay. They all kind of marry it together. And then what you do is you just pop the chicken into here. Okay. It and smells so good. I wish you guys can smell it. I don't know if you can actually see this <laughs> little bit of it. So that's how thick you want it, right? Exactly, yeah. Sauce. The okay. sort of ranch dressing is kind of to coat the, uh, coat the chicken. Um, and then the idea is you can actually do this overnight, like the recipe says on the Denver channel there, if you just go to, our, go to the website there. And then we just pop this chicken straight onto a grill here. Oh, wow. You could do this outside. You could do it inside, you know. So even if you don't do it overnight and decide to do it today, it's no big deal, right? No, just exactly. The flavors okay. will, coat, okay. will coat the chicken just like that. So it's very simple. And then uh, I'm just going to pop our spinach into the uh, into our bowl. Does it matter if you mix it with other stuff? No, you could absolutely it? arugula. Okay. Arugula would be really really nice. Okay. And that peppery peppery arugula. And we have some nice little crispy bacon that we pop on top of this. And again, you could omit the bacon if you don't want the bacon on there. This you could add some so uh, good. you could add some baby corn. You could add some cucumbers. You know, stuff like that. So How I mean, long do you cook the chicken? Um, basically, it's going to take about three to four minutes on okay. each side. So we just pop that over here. You see that nice color on there. And then once we get it done, we put it on top and, and pretty much voila. Exactly. Then we just drizzle the drizzle the dressing over it and, and that's it. It's good okay. to go. <laughs> so real quickly here, what do we have coming up on the 9 o'clock hour? Um, we're going to be doing a watermelon gazpacho, which is like just so perfect for a nice warm evening. Oh, it and sounds it's very really, fresh really and very summery, you know. And then after that, we're doing the... Um, yeah, I can't remember what we're doing the second one. Well, that's all right. That's a surprise <laughs> coming up. We'll show you in a little bit. All right. Uh, for more information for the recipe, go to our website, thedenverchannel.com. Click on food. And we'll also have a link there to uh, Chef Topple's uh, where you can get his cookbook as well. Thanks so much. This looks so good. I'm going to have to taste that. We'll be right back. <laughs>